All right. So this is the plan. Cerebellum Mission 3.0 is launching, and uh, we are calling it Intern Early Batch, and we are making a distinction in the strategy for two sections, as we said, interns and those with a job and without a job. So we'll be starting with Lab One. Now, what it will include for interns and post interns without a job, your main source of study should be quick revision videos. Now, in the Cerebellum app, if you go, you will find a folder Quick Revision 2.0, which are the updated quick revision videos which were recorded in 24-25. Right? You have to study from this quick revision videos. But I have added here plus minus mission videos. What are mission videos? So in Cerebellum, we have live mission classes. Mission classes are longer than the quick revision videos, but shorter than the main videos. So for those subjects in which you are weak, please use mission videos. For the remaining subjects, you can use the quick revision videos. Okay, sir. What are live ENDs? So basically, in different subjects, we conduct the test that is called examination, and then the teacher discusses. So you will be given a proper schedule that on this day we have pharmacology one test, on this day we have pharmacology two test, this day medicine one, medicine three. So different days are given. You will appear for the test during that day, and then the teacher will discuss all the questions in detail and relevant other questions which can be asked. Why this is not the answer? How to solve the MCQ? All the details will be discussed. And if you have any doubt, you can also uh, ask the teacher also at that time. So you will be given a proper schedule of examination and discussion, which will be conducted live. Okay. So live test and discussion. Google sir, say you are giving me three days to cover psychiatry or four days to cover psychiatry. The quick revision videos of psychiatry are like six six hours only. So say three hours one day, three hours other day because I am an intern. I don't get much time. In the morning when I am going to collect my sample or bringing the report, what I have to do, sir? So basically, in between, you should keep on solving the MCQs. What you can do is you can make custom modules from whatever topic you have studied the last day, three hours you have studied. You have seen these topics I have covered. So custom modules, select those topics, make a paper of maybe 20 questions, 50 questions, whatever questions you are likely to be solving. So solve those questions in the custom modules. Right. And uh, apart from that, obviously, you will need to appear for the ENDs later. Right. So it will go something like this. Day one, you studied the uh, quick revision video. Next morning, you did the custom module. In the evening, you read the remaining part of the revision video. And then the next day, you come, revise it. And then in the evening, you have live test and discussion. So your MCQs are getting solved. Also, of course, in between, we'll have GTs. In Cerebellum GT, we follow a motto that Gogasar will tell you. So basically, GTs should be like the actual exam. So we do not try to make GTs too difficult to impress you and not too easy so, so that you think that we are highly motivated. We know a lot of things, but in actual exam, you cannot perform. So the GTs in the cerebellum are actually like actual exam so that you will get a feel that these type of question will be asked in the actual exam. So we try to simulate the real exam and we try very hard to do that. All right, hold on PYQs, PYTs. So here, Goga sir, I have written plus minus late night PYQ marathon. First of all, let us explain what are late night PYQ marathon. Every day at around 11 o'clock, we make a test live, which is made of only PYQs, right? 40 question, 30 question, 50 question, and you are supposed to answer them. Why have I written plus minus? Because you're in the first phase. You are already watching the quick revision video. You are doing the custom module. So even if you are not able to do the late night PYQ, that is fine because you would be asked to do this in the second lab. So I'll just show you the second lab. So here, if you don't have time, that's okay. We don't want to overburden you. See, all of us have done internship. Both Oga sir and I went to UCMS Delhi. It is a college with very hectic internship. We know that making big schedules is easy. Following them is not going to be easy. So you want to keep it as real as possible by trying to step ourselves into the shoes of an intern or somebody who's doing a job. So that is why I have kept it here, plus minus. GTs, of course, you have to do. We'll wrap this up by July 15th. Now let's talk about the post interns without a job. This is the big difference. For the interns and with a job, we were saying that quick revision videos would be a good main source. For you, that is not true. You have to do mission videos. They are bigger, they are more comprehensive, and, and I, I would like to add here, uh, try to do, obviously you have to do mission videos of all the subjects. Plus in the mission video also, whichever topic you feel that uh, you have not grasped properly, try to see that from the main videos also. 100%, sir, 100%. So there are multiple types of mission videos because we do a lot of live classes. If you go into the app, you'll find mission 2.0, batch 3. Third batch or batch 3. This is the most recent batch. And it's the most updated. See, the good thing about Cerebellum is our content gets updated every six months because we have new batches. So that's a great thing. So you can use these videos. They would be in the app. 
along with that of course you also have to do the same ends definitely you have to do custom modules live ends and gts and for you because you have more time i have added late night pyq marathon now here i want to make one thing clear late night pyq marathons are given in cerebral am app in two form as we move closer to the exam they are mixed back all subjects put together when we are farther from the exam we have late night pyq marathon subject wise so you can just go in the app in the test section click on the late night pyqs scroll down and you would find the late night pyqs for all the subjects divided into different chunks day 1 day 2 day 3 so you have to do it accordingly gts we have discussed july 15th we will complete the course all right so 15 july we complete the lab 1a where you are using quick revision videos or mission videos plus of course question after 15 july we will start with lab 1b now what will happen by this time 15 june we have our neat pg exam if the government does not postpone it hopefully they do not <laughs> and this time it's unlikely they would do that so we would have result by say end of june and by 15 july we would start with a new batch right so that would be a comprehensive live batch where all the classes would be done live again all the ends would be done all those things late night pyq mid day module everything will start for you guys who already have completed one reading you have this advantage if you i have not done so well in one of the subjects you can attend it live if you are already confident in it just revise but appear for the ends and the gts so this is like the first revision for you for many of our students especially post interns what they did during this phase they did two revisions bhuga sir they did two revisions and in the morning they would revise themselves in the evening they would revise with a live lecture so and they got great results so you can do that also this would continue again for around 90 to 100 days and somewhere near the last week of october we would start the marathon inict what is marathon bhuga sir so basically as the name suggest in the 7 days we will complete all the subjects uh, all the important points so like in pharmacology in 4 hours i will try to summarize everything which is likely to be asked in the exam so all these subjects will be dealt with like this so there will be live coverage of all 19 subjects in last 7 days it's a usually an 80 hour 7 days program and you know the the biggest problem of students how to revise everything in the end that gets solved with marathon we hope that you do get selected in inict exam but those of you who do not then we start with the lab 2 between inict and neat pg depending upon how much time do we have this could be again live classes plus ends if we have lesser time only ends this we would be able to tell you only when we get to know about the dates and then again we will have marathon neat pg again 7 uh, days 80 hour program this time focusing on neat pg so if you are a student who starting today imagine the number of revisions that you would have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this schedule is not that difficult the only th thing that we are talking about is maintaining the regularity and the big word the structure follow the structure this is schedule has been structured so beautifully and now that this this has we are doing this for a couple of years we know that the students who follow it they get great ranks